joined now by our friend Steve Phillips to fill in some of these blanks. It was reported yesterday that Carlos Rodon uh, met with the Mets. How serious are they as far as being a suitor for the starter? Well, I think this is the Mets lining up plan B, C, D after mm -hmm. Jacob deGrom. Every indication is Jacob deGrom's their priority. They're lining up Rodon as an option afterwards. And it may be Rodon lining the Mets up, just getting them involved as being a stalking horse to have some level of interest because it could run the price up on his side of the ledger too. And so what I found interesting is the meeting was done via Zoom. Now, if this is going to be a five-year marriage or a four-year marriage and it's going to be for a ton of money, and they really thought that they were each other's primary person, you would think they'd get together in person and meet face to face. Instead, they did it via Zoom, which I think is a bit of a statement. Whether it was from one side's convenience or the other, I think it does point to this being a secondary connection for what the other options are out there. Uh, and it may be that, that like for Rodani gets to use the Mets in negotiations with the Rangers. And for the Ranger and for, for the Mets, you know, they get to have Rodon there as a plan B in case they don't get to Grom getting done. Although it still seems to me Rodon's probably not going to New York and the Mets are probably still in on Jacob DeGrom as their primary pitcher. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take a dinner over a FaceTime with any potential suitor. It's also been reported that Justin Verlander had a meeting with the Dodgers. What are the chances that he ends up there? I think it's really good. I do. I think that the price point when you're looking at the Max Scherzer type contract, the 40 plus million a year for probably three years, you know, I just don't think, I think he's priced out of Houston with where they are, with the move they made to get a Brayu. I just don't think he can go back there. I think that for the Yankees, he's secondary if they don't get Aaron Judge. And I think for the Dodgers, they need the primary starting pitcher. I think the fact that, that Kate Upton is an actress and it could be Los Angeles, they have a house there. It just seems to me that a lot of the things are lining up for Verlander to be a Dodger. It's a price point they can afford. They've got a lot of money they freed up off the budget, over $100 million from last year to right now. And so it seems to me that that is the marriage made in heaven, the Dodgers and Justin Verlander. It, so it was known that the Astros were really going after Jose Abreu as their primary free agent target. How did they end up uh, losing, I should say Boston was, how did how did the Red Sox end up losing to the Astros, though? Yeah, so it's interesting. So many teams were after Jose Abreu. The Guardians were, the Padres were in on it. The Boston Red Sox had identified him as their primary target this offseason. And I'm thinking, well, if he's your primary target and he signed for three years and $58.5 million, how did you not get this done? Now, certainly the player has a choice, too. He can, you know, he, he, you can't control his decision making. He may look at it and think, I've got a better chance to win with the Astros. Uh, I've got uh, Jordan Alvarez there, who's another Cuban player, and I love his Diaz, and so there's some connections potentially. But I look at Jose Abreu and the Red Sox, thinking the Red Sox, if he's your primary target, you're the Red Sox. Like, I, I understand that Hein Bloom came from Tampa, and there's some part of this being money ball with money in Boston, that you're going to do it and seek values and not overspend. But at some point in time and place, the player's value to you may be greater than his actual value in production. And at some point, you got to go there. The Red Sox, if they're going to keep up in the East, they need to get people signed. This was a big miss for me on losing out on him. And I agree with the guys talking earlier about them not being on any of the starting pitchers. What are they doing? 